My name is Max Chow. I am a continuing lecturer here at the Paul Mirage School of Business. Uh, the classes that I teach uh, range in size from about 60 to about 300. Um, I also teach online students in our financial accounting class, and those are the typically the very large classes where we have about 300. But my average class size is probably about 90 students. So academic honesty is one of the big issues that comes up now with quizzing. I mean, we have academic honesty that occurs with face-to-face -face quizzes, but it, it can be potentially more prevalent with an online quiz itself because you're not there watching what the students are doing. So the test banks definitely help with that because not every student is going to get the same exact questions that uh, an, another student have got. So that helps reduce academic dishonesty. Another thing I do is with every single one of my quizzes, I have one academic honesty question that's in a test bank, and that question gets thrown to every student. And it basically says along the lines is, I agree that I have not committed academic dishonesty, and if I have, then I understand I'm going to get an F on this quiz or something like that. And that has actually helped deter um, any academic dishonesty from my students um, as well. I have also, another way that we've done to help prevent academic dishonesty is that we use passwords. Um, so students are given a password for a specific quiz, um, and then they, and the password could change for every quiz. So that way, they, it's a little more difficult for them to commit the academic dishonesty. Nothing out there is foolproof in academic, to preventing academic dishonesty, but I've just tried to put enough hurdles in their place that it kind of deters them from doing that.